Hello, in this video I'm going to be solving, calculating the inverse of this 3 by 3 matrix using the adjoint method. The first thing we need to do is check if that inverse actually exists. We do that by calculating the determinant of the matrix A, which in this case is giving us a value of 28. That means that inverse actually does exist. Now for the adjoint method we're going to start calculating the cofactor matrix of A. And that cofactor matrix of A is going to be the matrix, the 3x3 three three matrix that we get when we calculate the minors of each of the elements in the matrix with their corresponding sign. I'm going to write the sign convention. Now that I have my sign convention written on the cofactor matrix, I'm going to calculate the minor for each of the elements. The minor for 1 is going to be this determinant here, 3 times 1 minus minus 1 times 1, which is going to be 4. For the second element, this number 2, the minor is going to be what we get with these two values here and these two values here. So our determinant is going to be 1 times 1 minus minus 1 times minus 5, which is going to give us a minus 4. I'm going to write that minus 4 within a bracket, because remember this element has a minus already in that place. We go to the third position on the first row. This one here, the minor, is going to be any element here, not on the same row, same column as the element 1 here. 1 times 1 minus 3 times 15, that's going to be plus 16. Now we move on to the second row. My sign convention now is minus plus minus. The minor for this element, one here, is going to be anything on not on this column, not on this row. So that leaves us with these values here and these values here. 2 times 1 minus 1 times 1 is going to give us a 1 in this position. Now we move on to the element in the center, this 3 here. The minor for this element is any element not on this row, not on this column, which leaves us with the corners, this corner here, this corner here, this one and this one. 1 times 1 is 1, minus 1 times 5 is plus 5, that gives us 6. We move on to this element here, second row, third column. We have a minus 1. The minor is going to be anything not on that row, that column. That is going to be this 1, 2 on the first row. Minus 5, 1 on the third row. 1 times 1, minus 2 times minus 5, which becomes a plus. So that is going to give us an 11 here. We now move to the last row. On the last row, the minor for this element is going to be this determinant here. 2 times minus 1, minus 1 times 3, that's going to be minus 5. Goes in here, we had a plus, but our value inside the bracket is minus 5. We move to the second element on the third row. This element here, anything not on this row, not on this column, is going to be these two values here and these two values here. 1 times minus 1 minus 1 times 1, that is going to give us a minus 2. Remember the sign from the sign convention stays there and we have a minus 2 that is going to become plus 2. Now for the last value, third row, third column, the minor is this square here. 1 times 3 minus 2 times 1 is going to give us a 1 positive. Now we're going to rearrange this and calculate the transpose of it. So if we calculate the transpose of it, the first row is going to become the first column. So 4, 4 again, minus minus becomes a plus, so plus 4, 16. And then the second row becomes the second column. We get minus 1, 6, minus 11. And the third row becomes the third column, so we have minus 5, plus 2, 
wrong one. This is the adjoint of the matrix A. Now to calculate the inverse of the matrix A, matrix A we're going to divide by the determinant of A, which we calculated earlier, and it was 28. Every element in the adjoint gets divided by 28. And this is the inverse of A.